What's up, everyone? Timothy Almayam Jr. here, and you're watching Milo Mosaiva. Thanks for tuning in and checking out this review, and hopefully it serves you well, so you have a place to spend your hard-earned cash. Um, it's probably not this video, but it, but it could be. You work hard for all that cash. Well, I don't know. Most of us don't carry cash anymore, but you work hard for your... Uh, you know, your currency, however it is implemented into your bank account. Anyways, yes, I'm doing Wildin' Watermelon. We got same flavor, two different processes, same product. So same flavor, same product, two different um, processes. One's a sweet tea. One's a sweet iced tea, and the other is just an energy drink. So, we're going head head, boom! Do they taste the same? Is one better than the other? Um, that's pretty much it. So, whoosh, let's get into it. As always, Bang has zero fucking everything, but I will tell you it is not any better than in the other product, but it is, but it isn't, you know what I'm saying, anyways, uh, I'm going to do the sweet iced tea first, that way I don't drown out the, the sweet tea flavor from the other beverage, um, I want to be able to see if I can still taste that tea, and then I will do a swap Comparison. Anyway, so let's do the sweet tea. Let's get into it. I do not know what I'm smelling. It's definitely not tea, but it's definitely something sweet. Okay. Raspberry. That's what I was smelling. Now all I can taste is the watermelon bubblicious. There's a slight hint of tea um, flavor in there. It's very mild. It's, it's very mild. Definitely bubblicious watermelon gum. 100%. We've had this same flavor before. And that was the um, day blue or blue day starlight. The starlight can was exactly the same flavor. I'm not fooling anyone. All right, now let's get into the Wildland Watermelon Energy Drink. Totally different scent. This one smells like a sour. That's all I'm getting from this one. Carbonated as fuck, which I like, but it's like percolating up into my nose. Mm. Not as much bubblicious watermelon, but mildly taste it this one's a lot more sour that one has a more of a sour flavor than the sweet iced tea the sweet iced tea you're you're it's not carbonated either so you're not getting the percolated smash up into your nostrils but you're getting more of that bubblicious watermelon flavor from this one which begs the question, which one is better? I personally like both of them the same. However, they are definitely not the same flavor whatsoever. They taste completely fucking different. 
suggest prepare yourselves for that. If I had to choose one over thy other, I would go with the energy drink, just because it is, it's a lot more, uh, it's a lot of more of a punch in the, in the mouth with flavor. This one's kind of more diluted tea with the bubblicious, extreme bubblicious flavor. And so I would definitely go with the energy drink, but the sweet tea, as I said, is, is also a great unique flavor. However, I personally will never buy sweet tea again. Not, not, not the wild and watermelon. Definitely not. But this, yes, I would, I'd be like, yeah, I'll buy that one again. So there is the distinguishable difference between the two. Same flavor, same brand, different process. Anyways, or same, maybe same process, but differently filtered, differently put different different differently mixed that's it is that the word mm. but anyways i'll tell you what i'm gonna score them pair them together all togetherly let's do it one score for the both that's right you guessed it 8.1 out of 10 that's a review i'm timothy almond jr you're watching mylam asylum and until next time fuck off